Do you know what I find interesting? People who criticize you, but they are in worse shape than you, or should I say in worse situations than you. For instance, let's say on a scale of one through 10, one being the least, 10 being the worst, let's say your life is at a level four, three or something like that. And let's say there is another person who criticizes you and that person's life is at a level eight and being bad. Have you ever had a person accuse you of things that they are? You know, I really, really find that very interesting. For instance, they may say, you are selfish, you are ignorant, you don't care about anyone but yourself, you treat me wrong, you are a manipulator, and you may think to yourself, is that really true? And then you may begin thinking, wait a minute, what that person is accusing me of, that is them. That is how they are. As if they are projecting the way they are upon you. As if not so much they are looking in a mirror I guess I would say they may look in a mirror, but place you in front of them, if that makes any sense, maybe not. Projecting the way they are to you. And um, you may say, Kevin, you know, I am in a situation like that. And you may ask me, Kevin, why are there people who do that to me? Firstly, I would say that is very, very demonic. I will also say, and I believe that person is probably suffering from insecurity, low self-esteem. I believe so. They may suffer, they may see themselves as so low, like they may be jealous of you. So they may feel so low about themselves and they may look at you and they may even admire you, but they may hate like, hey, this person over here is steady. Uh, this person has good things going on in their life. Like, why can't I be like them? So they may hate you because in truth, they probably want to be you. So they are so insecure that they feel the need, I guess, to tear you down with words or may try to sabotage your life because of their insecurities. They may compare themselves to you and know that they are lacking so much. Insecurity. I believe a lot of it is insecurity. So if you argue back with a person like that, that is purposely trying to press your buttons and 
get a response out of you if you argue back you are pretty much i believe you are pretty much doing what they want you to do hey i don't feel good about myself so let me torment this other person so my self-esteem can how can i say this let me torment this person so i can try to feel better about myself i believe the word for it is validation so by you arguing back with that person by you fighting and fussing with that person it's like they may get like validation from it they may feel like hey i i got someone that i look up to that i am jealous of i got that person to argue with me so if that person spends the time to argue with me then that means i am worth something and you may be very shocked about this some people are very very mentally ill You know, some people have been abused in the past. Some people have been neglected. Some people, and some people, <coughs> excuse me, some people don't know how to cope with past emotional pain. So they may cope with it in the wrong way. I probably should say some people don't know how to cope well with emotional pain so they may cope with it in bad ways in very bad ways so by you I'm, I'm trying to tell you some people may start and you may think I am lying I don't believe I am some people may start chaos with you because of insecurity they may think inside of their mind hey I think you you know they may not say it to you but inside of their mind they may think that you think you are better than them they may think that you think that uh, they may think that you are looking down upon them they may think that, you know, you see them as trash. And your mind, your mind probably is so far from that, meaning that you're not even thinking about that, but they have these delusional ideas thinking that you are trying to set them up, thinking that you have something evil for them when your mind is not even on stuff like that concerning them. Mental illness, which if you go to the roots of it, I believe it is demonic. I am trying to tell you so by you arguing with that person by you fighting with that person yes give me chaos some people hmm, as children some people experience chaos in the home they probably you know like their fathers and mothers and their father, mother, or whoever, they are probably used to being cussed at and beaten up and abused. So once they grow up to be an adult, they may, you know, they may know it is wrong, but if you are used to that type of lifestyle, how can you, I think, it would be it will be very difficult to change from that some people some people know chaos maybe they don't know too much from it if that makes any sense 
Stop fighting with people. By, by you fighting, I would even say this. I think some people, I don't want to say draw energy, but I think some people like negativity as if they are like a spiritual vampire. I really hope this is making sense to where the more negativity they can cause and get you to react, like the more they, as if it gives them strength. I know this is sick, but it is demonic. So by you cussing back at that person, by you fussing and getting angry and getting uh, uh, so upset and irritated, like they may enjoy it. Like, like <laughs> they may not say it like that, they may not think of it in that type of way, but they, but they, I believe some people thrive, thrive uh, off of chaos. Don't be so quick to be emotional. Well, Kevin, that person had no uh, reason to treat me like this. This person had no right to talk to me that way. I believe you falling right into their plan. I believe you falling for it. And you may say, well, I think the person is evil and wicked. And that may be the case. But if you go behind that, if you dig a little bit deeper, I believe you will find a demon or demons motivating that person to behave in the way they do. Some people may not know the reason why they behave the way they behave. I hope this is making sense. There are a lot of insecure people out there. Uh, there are a lot of people who are coping with emotional pain in a bad way. They, some of them may be like, hey, I suffered back in the past and I don't want to get hurt anymore. So let me hurt people before they can hurt me. I am telling you. And by them hurting people, that will probably make some people to stay away from them. So they may get hurt more by being rejected by people. So they are in this circular roller coaster, just repeating the same things over and over and over again. Stop reacting. Close your mouth. Yes, that person did you wrong, but you know, find something else to do. Leave that person alone if you have to. I really hope this makes sense. If you see a person projecting on you, uh, you know, you are so rude and you are so mean. I ain't gonna take it no more. And, and, and you may think to yourself, like, what is this person talking about? Like, what is really on that person's mind like is this person in a delusional world it is demonic i am trying to tell you it is demonic you may call that person mental you may call that person delusional you may say that person need therapy and pills and all it is demonic and you fighting back, you know, there are some immature people out there, which I am not saying we are always going to do everything right. But there are, I believe there are some immature people out there 
that may say, Kevin, I hear what you are saying, but I am going to fight back. Ignorance. Will we make mistakes? Yes. But having a mindset that, Kevin, I think what you are saying is true, but I am going to fight back anyway, that is ignorance. That is ignorance. So if a demon is influencing a person to treat you wrong, what you are what you are saying to me, you going to fight against the person anyway. Even though it is a demon or demons influence that person. So you believe in your natural reaction is going to get that person to stop. We have to mature more. We have to, uh, what is that scripture? We have to renew our minds. Like how many times are we going to repeat the same mistakes over and over and over again? People are going to cross you. People are going to backstab you. People are going to do bad things to you. We must not have this eye for an eye stuff. I know we may make mistakes and make errors, but we need to change from it. We must not go tooth for tooth. We have to get to the point to where we stop reacting poorly toward ignorant people toward people who may not know or may know the right way to behave but choose to react emotionally or should i say demonically which i believe it is demonically i am telling you that projection stuff is very interesting I remember I used to contact uh, someone and that person was accusing me and I'm thinking like, what is going on here? And um, I got to the point to where, you know, I would not, you know, say like, hey, you shouldn't you know, text me this and blah, 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 because I believe that person was doing it to get a reaction out of me. And once that person saw that I wasn't going to react, this person would do it over and over again. And there was a time to where that person told me, you know, sorry, Kevin, you know, I have this issue, blah, 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 blah. And maybe the next day or maybe some hours after that i believe it happened again some people are dealing with huge problems very big problems and we must be mature enough in christ to not fall into sin because of someone who chooses to mistreat us. For instance, I am going through something right now. And I am telling you, I believe demons almost every day tries, not try, but places thoughts in my mind uh, things concerning that person and I know if I were to really 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 focus on those thoughts day in and day out I would probably hate that person I would probably I would probably go back to sin but I try very hard to push away those thoughts I much of the time 
I believe I pray against those thoughts. We are in a spiritual war. So if you believe you can live for Jesus Christ and not get attacked, you are dreaming. You are in a fantasy. If you are going to live for Christ, you will be attacked. You will. Just a matter of time. You are probably going through something now. So let me stop here, though. May God bless us.